this gradient until you see that uh, the mask is starting to mask off just the areas uh, that are kind of protruding out or distorted out, out of the mesh from uh, the tear. Uh, that will generate a mask uh, to kind of mask uh, the, uh, the bare metal uh, from the painted metal. Uh, now that we have the mask, you can find a texture, a rough texture, uh, like any of these. Let's bring that in. Again, to preview it, you can use Ctrl Shift to click on that node. I'll make sure you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. And uh, yes, yeah, so then you can mix it. So if you have a mask like this, you can mix it with a math node. So connect this to the top one and then this to the next one. Now, if you preview this, you can change uh, the operation here to say multiply. You can see we are getting a little bit of detail in this gradient here. And you can also try subtract. And, uh, sometimes you might want to also put something like uh, another math node here in between these two here. Uh, let's use power. So that you can have some bit of control uh, on on how uh, the texturing bit comes in here. Or you can play with this gradient here, but uh, that will create a few issues here. So let's just use this gradient. Or you can let's try multiply and see how that looks. I think this is good enough. Uh, now that we have that, we can use this as the factor for our mix node. Uh, if you preview this, you can see uh, we want this red area to be uh, bare metal and the blue area to be paint. If we preview the final shader, you can see this is what we have. But uh, they're all still using the same uh, the metallic value we have here uh, so we can just use uh, the metal uh, the same mask uh, for the metallic value and let's see how that looks but uh, because uh, when you're using the metal value you want you don't want those gray pixels sometimes you want uh, a very uh, a value of one or zero uh, so to do that you can just use a convert math node uh, but uh, this time the operation can be either ceiling or floor so let's preview this for a second you can see how sharp those edges are so you have ceiling and you have uh, floor so let's try ceiling Uh, that means, let's see, that means uh, the white areas are going to be uh, fully metal and the black areas are going to be uh, non-metal, non-metallic. And, uh, and But I think maybe we, we can just use this, instead of using it under metallic, we can use it under roughness, control uh, the roughness with that. then we can play around with the colors. So I want this area to be uh, bare metal. So I'll remove all the color in there. And uh, actually I don't want this, this paint to be fully metallic. So I think we can use this here. And maybe let's use a watch here. Let's see, let's see. We can use this for the roughness. And then this for the metallic. So white areas mean that uh, that area is fully metallic and uh, black areas mean that area is uh, dielectric. dielectric. Let's see how that looks. I think right now we have it inverted. So I think we need to add an invert node here. Color, invert, to have it the other way around. Let's 
first see I think we need to control have a way we need to have a way to control this roughness uh, so what I'm going to do is add a color mix RGB and use this mask here as the factor and that should give me two values to play with here uh, one for the blue area and one for the metal area so if I wanted this area to be a little bit rougher I can just okay, so this is the bottom side and this is the metallic bare metal so I can make control this like this and uh, if I want this to be more shinier and control the second color directly like that I can also just feed so I know let's see this is for this paint area I can also just feed uh, this texture directly into that area to have a paint to have that uh, mask that texture control the roughness there and that if you wanted to control how rough or how how sh how reflective or how non-reflective that area is you can again add a convert mask node on there in between that and uh, just play around with this node here you can see yeah so in the next tutorial i'll show you how to do the back part here mm -hmm.